we are on the way to Tampa for the Carnival Paradise. This is our travel day. Carnival Paradise cruises tomorrow. Always travel the day before. And just a terrible idea to travel the same day. I know some of you have to do it, but not suggested. Okay, we're on the way to the Twisted Biscuit for lunch at Tavares. Tavares, Tavares. Maybe somebody can correct me. But that place is awesome. Check out my review on that restaurant. One of my favorite places in the state. Here we are at the Twisted Biscuit in Tavares. I've done a full review on this restaurant, but I'll show you what they've got right here today also. Okay, quick look at the menu. I am getting my all-time favorite here, Florida Cracker Benedict. Can you see that okay? Just a little bit of the ambiance. So it comes with um, one different Now what did you order? I ordered the two biscuit sandwiches. Oh, I'll have to go back on the think... menu. It's right under Slap Your Mama, whatever that was yes. on the menu. And this? Classic chicken sandwich. Open that bun, let me see that chicken grass. Oh, yes, okay. And we are watching our calories a bit, so we're going to split the Florida cracker, but we added an extra biscuit, so we each get a biscuit. There you go. Are you Yeah, I it was a top that was the Twisted Biscuit. Now we are on to the Channel Side Drive in Tampa. I think I'm gonna cruise by the port and check it out today before I head to the hotel. Very convenient Sumter rest stop on I-75 in itself. Okay, where to start? It's been a rough, rough last 10 hours. So, the last video you saw was us at the rest stop over on I-75. Well, while we were sitting at that rest stop, we got a call from our boarder that we hired through Rover for our dog, our 11-pound Chewini. I'll throw a little video in here of Pippin. It's hardcore. Pippin approves. Is this okay place to sleep? You good? She says, you people have a house. Why do you come out here? She is, she is our third child. So, we get a text that she has lost this dog. It has escaped. We are two hours from the house. All the way back, we hear nothing. She hasn't found the dog. She's putting out feelers. Nobody's seen it. We get back and we just start looking. And for six, seven hours, we just are circling the neighborhoods, going through every wooded patch in the neighborhood, which are they're surprisingly a lot. Hoping that she's not dead from a gator or a hawk or coyotes or even bears in our area. And about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m., somebody texts us and says, somebody sends us a message on Facebook because we put out feelers on every Facebook uh, group in our area. And they said, we saw your dog today about three hours ago. I go right to where they say they saw it. About 200 yards down the road, there she is, standing in the pouring rain. She seems fine. But now it is 1037 as you can see. And we are leaving Orlando again to head toward Tampa. My wife is no longer going on the cruise. She is she can't stand to leave her with a border now. So yeah. I'll try to salvage this trip with my girls and we'll see how it goes. Feels a little weird leaving the wife at home, but can't get your money back at this point. So I guess we got until the morning to decide if we want to back out. That's where we are so far, headed to the NBC Suites in Tampa. Thanks for watching. Here we are, Embassy Suites, end of a rough day. Let's see if tomorrow is better. I really would have liked to have spent more time here today.